ones that are a little bit more green compared to ones that are a little bit more orange are actually most likely the same level of sweetness and maturity. Hey guys, it's Tan the Fruit Nerd here. Today I'm going to show you how to pick a perfect orange. The perfect orange to me has to be juicy and not dry, but also the pith, which is the skin that surrounds each of the segments, has to add to the overall flavour. This is how I pick a perfect orange. You go through and you use your non-dominant arm to feel the weight of an orange, and you compare two that are around the same size, and the one that is heavier is gonna have more juice in it, it's not gonna be dry, and so you're gonna have a better tasting orange. Try not to compare two oranges with both your arms, and the reason being, your dominant arm is going to think that this orange is going to be a little bit more lighter than your other arm. All oranges are picked at the same time during the harvest season, which means ones that are a little bit more green compared to ones that are a little bit more orange are actually most likely the same level of sweetness and maturity. The reason why it's more green is because it hasn't had as much sunlight, so there's still a bit of chlorophyll in the skin. And also, um, when an orange actually plumps out, it becomes a little bit more smooth compared to one that's a little bit more bumpy and rough, and so that can also indicate that it is more mature and it is more sweet. So when is it best to eat Australian oranges? Well, Australian oranges are picked between May and July, so it's best to have them in June. And that's because any earlier, and the fruit might be picked a bit too early, and so the fruit might be a little bit sour. And any later than July, and the fruit might be kept in cold storage for a little longer than what we'd like it to be. So therefore, some of the oranges might lose a bit of its uh, juice through dehydration, and it won't be as juicy as when it's in its prime in June. The two main varieties available in Australia are the navel and the Valencia. And the way that you can tell them apart are the bottoms. See, the navel has an underdeveloped twin at its base and it looks and it resembles like a human navel, whilst the Valencia just has a little dot. And that's how you can tell the difference between the two varieties. Now, in terms of flavor, navels are really sweet and great as a snacking fruit. Whilst the Valencia has a great balance of tartness and sweetness, and so it's considered a better variety to make orange juice. The best way to store an orange so you get the best eating experience is to put your oranges in a plastic bag or an airtight container when you get home and put it in the fridge. And the reason is because Every day, your orange is actually dehydrating a little bit, so it will be less juicy unless you keep it in a sealed tight bag or container. You'll know that your orange has lost a bit of juice via dehydration if in a week or so you, you feel it and it's a bit light, but also your orange is going to get a bit soft and it's not going to be as firm as it once was when you purchased it. Oranges are one of the few in-season fruits during winter, so good luck finding a perfect orange.